<clears throat> Hi everyone, this is Hillary Marketing Moms and today we are going to be reviewing the Facebook insights into your fan page. So one of the first questions we always get asked is, well, where do you find insights? And I like to think of insights as my analytics, all right, because that's what I used to be in my other life, a data analyst. All right. And now first you'll go to your Facebook fan page, as you can see here, and right underneath your banner, you're going to see page messages, notifications, and then you're going to see insights. And that is what you want to click on to start drilling into what's going on on your fan page, because it's only with analyzing this data and getting comfortable with it, comfortable with what the figures mean, are you going to be able to improve your posting and your engagement. All right. So the first thing you're going to notice is that there's underneath the insights tab, then you're going to see six little tabs, overview, likes, reach, visits, posts, and people. And basically what Facebook is saying is that these are the things that we think you as a person managing a fan page are going to be interested in. So they give you a quick overview of the page likes, your post reach, engagement, and everything, plus a little breakdown of what's going on with your different posts. But you really want to drill into each of these tabs. So underneath the likes tab, basically, this is going to give you your raw figures. How many likes do you have per day and how it's been increasing over time? All right. And it also gives you a breakdown of one, your net likes over time, whether those likes have been organic, as you can see here, or whether they've been paid, as you see over here. Right, the darker blue would be paid, the lighter blue would be organic, and ideally, and well, obviously, you see the pinker, the unlikes. Now, if you stand for anything, just keep in mind that you are gonna have unlikes, don't be too alarmed by it. If you start having unlikes that are about the same size as your likes, then you need to be concerned with what you're posting. It also gives you a breakdown of exactly where on the page people have come to like your page so whether it was in an ad in the ad stream as you see here with the blue whether they were actually on your fan page when they liked it or whether it was a page suggestion you could see very a very thin um layer there of that peach that is um somebody liking your fan page from a page suggestion and those actually that the, those type of statistics actually boost your ability for your fan page to be seen in other people's streams so the other thing that you want to think about is apart from likes likes is a specific action but you want to get an idea of your reach now reach isn't exactly people who like your page but it gives you an idea of how many people are even seeing your page and that's important because the more eyeballs get onto your page the the easier it may be for them to like and as you can see here it breaks it down again by paid reach all right, so you see we've been running a lot of ads on this one because the paid reach has been up to 4,000. And the organic reach is about 200. So again, organic is always better than paid. But in order for you to get eyeballs on your, on your fan page, most people, they tend to go for, the, for, the, um, for getting paid advertising, for people to just see the ad. All right, they rely on the different posts to get engagement and likes. And then you also see here, it breaks it down again in terms of the actions of the people who have reached. So of these 4,000 basically, how many people have liked, commented, or shared on your post, all right? These are things that will boost the algorithm in Facebook to show your page to more people who have similar traits. And then these are actions that will will bring down your rating so you want to monitor particularly if you see unlikes or hide post on these or even a report spam you want to make sure that you go back and review what post you did on those days to see if you really need to tweak them or not all right next we're going to look at visits now the visits is basically the people who are visiting and where they are visiting your your page from are they visiting it on the timeline or are they visiting on the info tab and this is this very basic in terms of where are they coming because you want to see where they how are they getting to your page and as you can see here even external external references to your page people can find your page externally so the more links you have 
what we call backlinking to your fan page might actually be a good thing in terms of your statistics. All right, because what Facebook sees is that people are coming to you from external sources and not just going to your page from an ad within Facebook. Now, my favorite section in the insights is the post insights, because this is where you could really tweak your action. First, to begin, the, we look at where, when your fans are online. And this is important because as your fan base grows, you want to know when is the opportune time for you to post. And as you can see here, on average, yes, I, we have fans on, most of the fans on every day. But we see Sunday is actually a very high day as well as Friday. Sunday, Friday, and Wednesday are some of the highest days. And then it also gives you an idea, Facebook very nicely breaks down what time of day are most of your fans on. And as we can see here, they peak around 8 p.m., which is very interesting. So what you would want to do is shift your posting to a time frame between 10 a.m., where it reaches up to about 281, and then it peaks to 322 at about 8 p.m. If that's when most of your fans are on, that's when you want to be posting, all right? If you had more of a variation on your days between Monday to Saturday, then you'd also want to focus on a specific day in the week, all right? Now, here's where it, get, it, here's where it's get, it gets interesting because now you could actually look at every post that you've put down, every post that you've posted to your fan page and actually look at the type it's targeting and actually get stats on the reach the engagement and then make a decision whether you want to boost that post or not so for example here this post that was a video post it reached 89 people organically all right we see here zero paid reach 89 people have seen this and nine people have actually viewed it six have liked so we see here that when you get that type of organic reach Although those numbers may seem small, when we look at a base of about 800 fans, I believe, on this fan page, that is actually a pretty good figure. And what you want to do then is take that video and boost it so that more people are able to see the, the video. All right. And then finally, last but not least, is the people on your fan page. And Facebook breaks it down very nicely for you. It tells you, it gives you a good breakdown by demographics and location, location and city of who your fans are. All right. So that now you can start targeting your products and services to that specific group of people. So if the majority of your fans are between ages 25 to 45, then you want to focus your attention there because those are the people that are following you, women. And then even if you want to say offer to a smaller group, at least you know that there are fans there, but you're not going to try and offer to any group that's 0% of your fan base. Okay. And then also the country. But what's good is about this, apart from the reach, reach also gives you a pretty good idea of who you're reaching. We're reaching about 13,000 in Trinidad and Tobago, 6,000, almost 7,000 in the U.S. But what is interesting is that the people who are engaged, this is the figure that I like the most. Because even though you may have a lot of people, almost like it's concentrated in one country you notice that those that are engaged in trinidad and those that are engaged in the united states are about the same figure 103 100 so what that means is that you resonate with of the people who are engaging that means people who are liking sharing and commenting on your post they're about the same in both countries so that you could actually focus on that those demographics of people again between the same age groups of 25 to 34 35 to 44 so that is in a very quick overview the facebook insights all right again back to your overview page you will see an overview of your weekly stats this week versus last week of your page likes your post reach and engagement keeping in mind that even though you may be paying for post reach what matters is your engagement all right and then a breakdown, a brief breakdown of some of your posts so that you're able to analyze and decide whether you want to boost those posts or not. This has been Hillary, Marketing Mom. 
thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next video.